All right, the third example here is um, I wrote out the formula. Now, normally we write x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, but we're not solving for x, we're solving for m. So if you write an x, change that to an m now. Uh, or if you wrote an x, as long as in the next step, the substitution step, you put an m, then that's that's okay too. All right, so we're going to plug in negative b, or negative, and then the b value is negative, so you're actually going to have two negatives, so that will end up being a positive, which if you wrote positive right away, that's okay too. Negative 6 squared. What really matters is I want to see that substitution step, but I want to make sure you have to have the negative 6 in brackets because you're squaring the negative sign along with that. Minus 4. A is 1. Remember, if you don't see the number, it's 1. C is 7 over 2 times 1. All right. So two negatives make us a positive. 6 plus or minus 36 minus 28 over 2. And we'll simplify further. 36 minus 28. So we're going to have 8 over 2. So hopefully you got that far. And now you might need some help with simplifying. So to simplify this one, we need to simplify the um, radical first. So the square root of 8, remember the two numbers that multiply to 8, will be 4 and 2, and 1's a perfect square, so this is 2 root 2. So m is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2. Now we look to see if we can simplify more. 6, 2, and 2. So if it's an all or nothing deal here with these three, 2 is divisible by 6 and 2. So we're going to cut all of those in half, divide by 2. So 3 plus or minus 1 root 2, or we'll just write root 2 over 1. Now we don't leave 1 in the denominator, so the answer is just 3 plus or minus root 2.